Hey, we're back to that world that put me to sleep. Yeah, welcome back to probably the worst game ever made, in my opinion, now. Because <sighs> my opinion has swooped that low on this game. And I feel like the more we play through it, the worse it gets. It's, uh, to be fair, it wasn't exactly the game's fault that I was asleep. I just straight up had no energy that week. Well, I, I was super exhausted from what the fuck was going on around that time. And then we took a week off because this game sucks. We took a week off because I was unavailable thanks to Father's Day. Uh, which I used as an excuse to finally make progress on the damn Star Wars video. Get this, I was I was going insane over it. Not having to listen to, to myself saying the exact same things over and over again. And make sure to edit them so they line up properly. Maybe you're just not cut out for making long-form video essays. Yeah. I do intend on not doing another one for a very long time after this. Because I'm experimenting. And I never want to do that again. But I did the hard part, and that is line up all the commentary for all the rest of the episodes. And then I can edit the footage in, which is, might I say, I must say, significantly easier. Yeah, now. Well, and hopefully I don't run into any more copyright issues. I say that, and I will. So, so some funny stuff has happened within the past two weeks. Mainly, I spent an entire day without going to sleep, so I was awake for 40 hours straight one night. Jesus. Yeah, it wasn't fun. I could believe that. And I was just, I wasn't even doing anything, I was just lying in bed and I didn't sleep. And I'm physically in people of like, taking a nap in the middle of the day, so I, I just stayed awake. I'm not so much, but that's because I have heat loads of exhaustion thanks to a uh, consistent, like, inability to fall asleep before, like, at a reasonable time. Other than that, uh, before we drop into the bomb shell, bomb shells, um, I watched episode one of Secret Invasion, and I'm going to try to keep up with that show for once. The opening was AI generated, and I find it hideous because every AI artist. You gotta love how they're like, it's not gonna take jobs, even though it took jobs. Job. Fucking Marvel, or really Disney. But it fit with the theme of the show. It doesn't change the fact that AI art is the most hideous thing in the man. Granted, it legitimately did fit with, with what that opening was going for. That doesn't change the fact that it still fucking sucks that it happened. <laughs> I didn't watch it because the second I heard AI art and uh, like people losing jobs, I was like, I'm not sure I want to. I'm gonna wait and see. Then I heard then I heard nothing but bad things about that first episode, so I was like, hmm, so I guess I was right to win see. I watched it. It was fine. I'm gonna try to keep up with it. From what I heard they killed off Maria Hell, which sucks. Like she's terrible in the comics, but that doesn't change the fact that the MCU variant isn't exactly bad. Uh also this past week. I tried to play uh, the first game I was ever disappointed in, the Star Wars Sports Unleashed 2 on PC. The game crashed on me and I forgot to save my progress after an hour, so I take that as my excuse to just uninstall the game and not play it. <laughs> Get this, the game, the game's not good. So... Um, um... Other than that, I... I guess we can talk about movies before we move on to the big things. I have not seen anything. Uh, I haven't either, but I work in a movie theater that forces me to go inside the movies to actually, like, deliver food. Uh, so, technically I've seen good chunks of Flash and Elemental. And, uh, no hard feelings. I wanna see that one. Honestly, yeah, it's kinda dumb. Um... I just read a plot and I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm watching this. They did have at least one scene that made, that made me, like, laugh a little bit. And yeah, like, fair enough. It's it's a decent comedy, I guess, if that happens. And it was uh, the scene where it was like, where, where like, 
the main character and uh, two of her friends are talking, and uh, the guy friend's like, so you won't like uh, rent out your house, but you'll rent out, uh, well, directly he said, rent out your vag, and she's like, yeah, and uh, basically he starts getting all like, what? So just because I'm a guy, I can't get I can't get a word in this. And they're like, yeah, obviously. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> and yeah, that's accurate. It, because in general, why the fuck should you care what what your friends are doing? <laughs> I don't know. Like half the time, I have no idea what literally any of my friends are doing, and I'm perfectly okay with that. I just do my own thing. Yeah. No matter how insane it drives me. Also, in general, if you're the opposite gender, chances are you definitely should not have a, a say in what the fuck is going on with the opposite gender. As shown by the fact that literally any time uh, we see in media, news, recent politics, where a guy has gone out of their way to try and impose their views on what should be done with one's body, it's usually negative. Bro vs. Wade was a year ago. Man, I can't I had to, I had to that, that was basically my, my whole lead into that, to that whole stupidity. I mean, yesterday I had to accept the fact that the PS5 and Xbox Series X came out almost three years ago, and I'm, and I'm like, didn't they just come out? The fact that the, they were able to get away with that, and it, and it still hasn't been overturned, is some stupid, some like. A hilarious ineptitude, really. But, like, uh... Outside of that... Uh, the, the, the actual scene that made me laugh was, uh... Well, when the guy, when that guy friend's like, You know you could sell out your body parts, uh... These human bodies like a cash cow. And they're immediately like, Get back in the water. Anyway... They live in a... They, they work in a bar. Like, a beach bar. Anyways, the move, the, a good chunk of the movie is about gentrification, and all, and all I can think is, yeah, that sounds about right. Hey, it's rich people. Um, so. Speaking of rich assholes! Enough. No! Speaking of rich assholes, what happened this week? Um, the sub! The sub? Did you not know hear? Uh, Reddit. Oh, the, the submarine! submarine Dumb it! Fucking submarine, yeah, I heard about that. <laughs> I was like, this was my lead into that. Uh, well, I forgot about it until we brought it up. Seriously? Yeah. It literally happened a few days ago, dude. I know. I knew about it, and then I forgot about it. So because I have higher priorities. Uh, I don't. I had work. That's not a priority. I know. Uh, I was working on the video, and that's a priority. So what happened? Two videos actually. So so. so me through hell. Do you know what happened? Yeah, it just fucking blew up. Yeah, no. Do you know... Something imploded. Yeah, okay. That's all I know. So, if you don't know, like, basically there's this company called Ocean Gate that would send a submarine down to the Titanic, uh, and it'd allow, like, these rich fuckers who can pay $250 tickets to go down and see the Titanic. You know, which is, like, 12,000 feet underwater. Already in the Yes! Literally everyone assessed this. But the thing is... Uh, not only is the submarine, the, the submarine look like it's shoddy as all hell. Like, we've seen James Cameron's submarine, and he's gone down there, and it looks way more vain. James Cameron's a fucking movie director. Um, so, it involves the, these five rich people going down there, and then losing contact with the upside world. And people were like, oh my god, they're lost, they're lost. And uh, the media like, tried to drum up support for finding them. Meanwhile, all the internet can do is laugh at the misery of these, fi uh, of these five idiots who decided that going deep underwater like this was a good idea. Before it was revealed that yes, they'd been dead this entire time. Because almost certainly the moment that they lost contact was when it imploded. But the thing, but, but the thing that's that seriously like is notable is the response that everyone had to the insanity. Oh. Mostly the memes, obviously, but also things like the fact 
that the sub the sub was controlled using a Logitech controller. Mm. Yes, a video game controller, and not even a mainstream console one like an Xbox or a PS5 controller. No, fucking Logitech. Are you kidding me? I don't even know what Logitech is. Second part, like it's one of those third party controllers. Uh, you know the one that be uh, that be grateful to be labeled as the second player controller. Logitech controller. Look up Logitech Logitech F seven ten. Oh, one of these fuckers. Who pays seventy five dollars for this thing? Look up Logitech F seven ten. That's the that's the first thing that popped up. Okay, yeah. Look at that. That looks like a bootleg three sixty controller. It looks wrong. And these fuckers use that as the main controller for a submarine going down to the Titanic. Hey. Yeah. It also had a bunch of issues, and while it, the material it was made would have been fine, supposedly it's a material that gets that gets worse and worse after each use. <laughs> so yeah, that's a thing. And the more we find out about this, the more, like, on some level we just feel disdain towards the people who did pay for this. And uh, there's only one person that everyone I've seen kind of sympathizes for. And that was the teenager that went down there. Because he didn't even want to go down there. He was smart enough to realize that this was a terrible mistake. But the only reason he went down there was because his dad was one of the people going down there... And it was Father's Day weekend. Yeah. Um. So shame for him, but the fact that the the guy piloting the fucking thing was the CEO of Ocean Gate tells you how stupid these assholes were. Anyways, the submarine ex imploded. Uh, which, it, for all those people who don't know what an implosion is, it's basically the exact opposite of an explosion. Think being crumpled up like a piece of paper. But because of how implosions work, the thing was almost uh, certainly instantaneous, and yeah. they didn't suffer because they basically died before they could even tell what the fuck was going on. Anyways. Speaking of Father's Day... Uh, I had Father's Day. That happened. I actually went to the mall with, uh, most of my family that day. Uh, pretty cool. I got some, I got some cards, some malls. I got, I got my dad's father's gift, obviously. And after that, we went to, off to Olive Garden. Because we went to the Great Mall, you know. Well, yeah. the dessert was good. I, I ate lasagna for the first time. And it was fine. I mean... Olive Garden is way too expensive for how that shit tastes. I think the best part of the meal was the dessert and the breadsticks. I don't have a lot to say because all I did was pretty much work on damn videos. Not just the Star Wars one, but this other one that also drives me through hell. And, uh, yeah. So, those are gonna be fun if I... If I happen to die, I just... So yeah, why are we? Uh, um. Anyway, so getting back to that whole movie thing, uh, the two movies that had come out that were major things, and I don't, and I say major in, in quotations because, uh, yeah, they bond, are Elemental and Flash. Yeah. Flash. It's this. <sighs> Ezra Miller is a fucking stain on that movie. Um, Elemental? I don't think that was fine, but it's not great. It's okay. After Spider-Verse, uh, it really feels like we should start holding animation towards a higher standard. But speaking of Spider-Verse, let's talk about the insanity that was Spider-Verse's apparent development cycle. Because apparently, uh, Lord and Miller basically overworked these, these, these guys way too much. Considering when I saw it, are we really that shocked? I mean... It's Sony for small. No, it, specifically it was the directors that, like, made it hell. 
because their their way of directing involves basically shooting the, like starting over for things that have already been deleted because they want to make it uh, better. And it works on things like TV shows, but the fact of the matter is, there's a reason why that alternate universe cut in the original uh, Spider-Verse movie, like on the DVD, was basically an entirely different film. Make this, make this. That one. And that's because, yeah, they they basically cut out and re-, re look, if you go to the movies right now and people are pouring out that, the, that what they show on the screen depends you will you will find screenings with different versions of spider-verse with different scenes right now um uh the only thing i could say about about elemental was uh it had an up short at the beginning so that was nice to see and uh Ember looks cool. The the fire lady. Is yeah, fire characters tend to look cool. Uh, the thing I can say about Flash is, man, teen, uh, like Teenage Barry is so fucking annoying because it involves time travel and mo two different planets at the same time. It was weird. Uh, also, it had three different Batmans. The multiverse. No, uh, time travel reality bullshit. Uh, first starts with Ben Affleck, because, you know, DC. Then Michael Keaton, because time travel. And then when he gets back, and, but, and manages to make an almost correct timeline, we get, uh, fucking, yeah. Anyhow. Uh, yeah, now we can move on to the native things. On to the bitching. Because I have things of funny discuss. This might take up the entire episode runtime. This is so stupid. So for those that don't know, which uh, should be none of you, because we talked about this a lot, uh, the FTC, Federal Trade Commission, has started a trial against Microsoft and Activision Blizzard over their proposed merger because they think it'll be anti-competitive for people. And people did analysis, and they find that. Uh, Sony, the corporation, was mentioned like 70 plus times, and the, super, the consumers were mentioned like six times. If that doesn't, if that doesn't scream bias, I don't know what does. Mm -hmm. So there's a there's a lot, and they had public court hearings that were live streamed through Zoom, and I and I listened to the entire thing from 8:30 to 3:30 p.m. I did not sleep that night before. Um. This was on the 21st, I think. Day 1. No, 22nd. 22nd, yeah, it was 22nd, day 1. Um... I woke up early and I listened to it. It was goofy. Um... The, let, let me try... Let me, let me find some recaps, but basically... Uh, the gist of it is that the FTC is fucking losing so hard it is funny. <laughs> Their case is so weak. My heal. So, can you come go over it since I actually don't know this Yeah, one? I'm flying this thread and I'm going back very, very quickly. Because there's a, there's a lot to unpack. And as I mentioned, this is, this is public. Com common knowledge. Well, common knowledge. So, it started with an introduction from both sides. This entire trial didn't place in San Francisco. <laughs> Should walk in if I wanted to, but I don't think it's going So, now there was a lot of debate about exclusivity, cloud gaming, because of course, console competitiveness. They say Nintendo doesn't count in the market because it's underpowered. 
Blah blah blah. I'd argue Nintendo doesn't come to the market because it just doesn't want to play the same game as everybody else. But oh well. Uh, okay. Its market is basically a hybrid one. console now. Part one. Part one. The FTC speaks first because the plaintiff plaintiff always speaks first. I felt like one of those Ace Attorney background characters while listening to this. Okay. You were you were the uh, audience. I, I was the audience. I got kicked out of the Zoom meeting so, several times, and I was like, "This meeting has reached max capacity." I'm like, "Let me in, you fuckers!" And I kept the load paid until in the end. So, Activision makes some of the most important AAA games in the United States. <laughs> Call, Call of Duty, including Call of Duty, most recently Diablo 4 and Overwatch, and the judge added Candy Crush. Hmm. To be fair, that's the one that they were actually apparently going for. Yeah. The FTC says Microsoft's own strategy documents should not be clear. Having the differentiated content on the computer is allowed to keep. The judge says that she, she has children that must, they must have a copy of Call of Duty in the house. What? Excuse me, what? The judge has children. She must have a copy of Call of Duty in the house. And they're showing full on PlayStation 5s and Xbox Series that she's in the courtroom. This is like the third thing you talk you talked to me about that had a PS5. Yeah. Oh yeah, Transformers happened too. Uh, FTC claims that Microsoft's leadership itself continues to look at Generation 9 console for the release Nintendo. Because the Switch is terrified of Generation 8. Which it isn't. Yep, by technicality. Technicality, the, quite literally, if we're going by who, who started first, Nintendo had a two year head start on the next generation. And we three year. Yeah, whatever. If we're going by what with technicality, then in reality it had a, it had a five year start. FTC compares multi Because let's be honest here, no one can get the other ones. FTC compares multi game library subscription services and Netflix. My also sad unrelated with sad news for the for Xbox Game Pass, uh Amori is leaving the service. On the live Also it's going up by a dollar or something. Yeah, it's going up by a dollar. But then about business week. So I'm about Game Pass. I, I know, Amori's leaving Game Pass. <laughs> Uh, Microsoft tells game developers that playing their games on Game Pass generates in incremental revenues. That is usually how streaming works. FTC brings two NVIDIA executives by video deposition who are going to testify about the promise of cloud gaming, having overcome technical limitations as in that cloud streaming is the future. FTC notes that NVIDIA initially opposed but now supports the transaction. FTC makes the argument that cloud bits, cloud streaming, and library subscription markets can be defined into one market. Total foreclosure is not the only option. There are various strategies that are available for partial foreclosure. Well, Sony with its PlayStation exclusive duties and certain games could tell the FTC about it. FTC says that if Microsoft makes case-by-case case case decisions on whether titles are, are exclusive or cross-platform, they can decide case-by-case case with their rivals. Show statement by Microsoft and FTC in connection to the Zen match at position. So it sounds similar to the one now. FTC makes an ar argument that contracts with other companies and European Commission remedies should be deemed legally irrelevant. Because they're stupid. Even if they break the Apple Google duopoly on mobile, that's legally irrelevant. FTC claims to be very spurkin, spurkin, sp certain, 
can't dodge that. The judge will grant a prelim preliminary injunction. Not a lot of people think so. Now it's Microsoft's turn to argue. The defendant's case. Microsoft's counsel. The mi For almost 20 years, Sony has been the leader. They have protected that margin. They want to protect $70 per game business model. Sony doesn't allow games day and day on services, doesn't allow cloud streaming, and tries to keep games as exclusive as possible. Microsoft wants to make games available via Game Pass, which is an option for consumers, but is a threat to Sony's business model. Xbox is looking for an opportunity and to be able to provide more games on more services to more people. Like Chromebooks. I forgot Chromebooks existed. That's I didn't. Know. Right now, you cannot stream Call of Duty anywhere, and you cannot find out any subscription. 94% 90, of gamers play off of bugs. Mobile gaming is a $145 billion market, way larger than console or PC gaming. Sad but true. Microsoft shows three price charts about the global console shares, revenues, units sold, and sold base. Xbox always comes in third. If Nintendo is taken out, it only gets worse for Xbox. <laughs> oh, they just admitted Without Nintendo, we're actually in a worse position. <laughs> Microsoft counsel now explained that Call of Duty for closure would not make sense. Too much of the re re revenue is generated from that data. And their worldwide shares of mobile is 0.3%. It doesn't make sense to upset all the consumers and gamers who gamers who want to play product with their friends. Microsoft says gamers have very strong opinions, and I think that was obvious enough. They made it it made, made clear that they, they want to play product on all these platforms. FTC expert gives PlayStation a 56% market share, Xbox 44%. <laughs> he, Microsoft is not free, but even if it was true, PlayStation would be the dog. Like, yeah. Microsoft says that even if all, even if all the bad that the government says will happen, does happen, the market will just become more competitive. Yeah. Something anti-monopoly. Microsoft also notes that Jim Ryan, the CEO of PlayStation, is not showing up in person. It was instead showing up by a pre-recorded video message. While well, well, all of Microsoft is showing up in person. Mm -hmm. Testify. And now, the first big bombshell that dropped is that they, they revealed a private email between PlayStation CEO and Xbox CEO. To show that they, Sony was never worried about Call of Duty being a specific title. We'll continue to see Call of Duty on PlayStation for many years to come. They would be fine. I kid you not. Yep. They lied. As everyone knew. Uh, Every piece of evidence shows that it only makes sense for Xbox to make these games available on as many platforms and to as many people as possible. Hmm. And now we have they started the examination of of the seat of the leader of Xbox Game Studios, Matt Booty. It is ridiculous. If Microsoft makes an if Microsoft made an offer to Sony, the only part of the reason reason is the protection of confidential business information is Microsoft, not Sony. Responsibility. <laughs> so far, blah, blah, blah. FTC tried to show inconsistency between earlier testimony where he said the Switch is not technically a level of placement in their spots. But no outright contradiction. Is this correct? Cross examination by a lawyer from Microsoft. Turn. Blah, blah, blah. So, 
the FTC asks, has Sony ever complained about Xbox taking away games from PlayStation, or did they fall in? The answer is no. Microsoft has dead has a dedicated account management team at Sony that supports Microsoft with respect to the games they release on PlayStation. They say the relationship is cordial. cordial. Microsoft is completely confident it's not for advantage. As the judge asked, for example, Microsoft with Netflix. Uh, there are no guarantees, games can fail, and the number of openings and opportunities for other people to belong on to this series. So yeah, we start with the FTC. Hoping they hoped to expose Microsoft's quote foreclosure strategy, but they failed. <laughs> Miserably. FTC has called Bethesda's Pete Hines. <sighs> Pete Hines says Sony has never complained. In fact, he recalls that they've even responded positively to the quality of PlayStation Party from Bethesda games in post acquisition. You know, Death Loop, Ghostwire, Tokyo. <laughs> Hines explained. Hines has to explain Redfall is not the clear because you're playing against. You're not playing against other human beings because of making their decisions. Redfall is a cooperative game. All players are on the same side. The, ju the judge asks about why. Why they re renegotiated the, the agreement with, with Disney regarding the Indiana Jones game? They signed originally that game was supposed to be multi-platform, but after the Microsoft buyout, they changed the agreement so that it would be Xbox exclusive. And by Xbox, it was available on PC. New witness Sarah Bond from Xbox. Mobile is effectively a duopoly. Google and Apple. Microsoft says that they basically only have Minecraft on mobile devices. Which is kind of pretty cool. Sarah Vaughn explains 50% of the people who played Human Fall Flat and played the game pack had previously played it on Judge asks how long game downloads may take. Maybe two hours. Blah, blah, blah. Like that. So, my phone is frozen. Never mind. Um, Microsoft does not expect the next. Microsoft expects the next generation of consoles to come out in 2028, which will be eight years after the current generation. I don't blame them. Look at look at how Nintendo's handling their uh, supposed a uh, fucking dying console. <laughs> <sighs> Xbox Cloud Gaming is Game Pass's ultimate least popular feature because nobody uses it, which throws a side argument out the window. Uh, they have not made a decision on whether or not the Outer Worlds 2 and Elder Scrolls 6 will be exclusive to the platform. Because that team, those things are too far out. So, Ellis will sit down in short term. Um, Xbox has admitted it lost the console course. Yeah, that's what Yep. I don't, I don't, I don't even know a single generation that they did win. 360. Arguably, they actually lost on two. Specifically, thanks to the thanks to the second half of that generation where PS3 got its win back, and uh, 360 pissed away their advantage by focusing so fucking hard on the connect. Mm. Uh, Star Bethesda says Starfield wouldn't be out in just nine weeks if it was released on PS5. 
they say that Xbox exclusivity has streamlined development somewhat. Actually, I, I, I think I got my literal argument from a Scott the Wise video where he went over those numbers too. Where he went over, like, who won each generation of the console. Wii U. And there are things I have, that I've been putting up on the back burner longer than that video. <laughs> and it's called I Have n n Like No Time in My Life, or like thanks to fucking work. Well. Okay, well, we'll watch it after we're done today. <laughs> really? Well, I, I don't think we have enough time for Banjo because do we just fit, take it yeah, to. We'll do that because that one level next to. The next level is so fucking frustrating. I can only see. I can only see that's the only one we're doing today. After that, we're watching Scott the Waz. <laughs> and Fair enough. Because this bombshell is so big, I think we should, and also to keep you awake, I think we should hold off the direct talk until then. Why would we hold it off for? T oh, or, oh, you meant uh, you banjo. Meant, yeah. Because it's banjos. Okay. Indiana. Jo I mentioned Indiana Jones is playing PS5, but they. Well. Uh, big bombshell. Activision almost decided not to put Call of Duty on Xbox unless Microsoft gave Activision the same amount of money Sony gave it for a worse version, lesser content. And also... Can you repeat what I just fucking heard? Activision would not put Call of Duty on the Xbox Series X and S unless Microsoft paid the exact same amount of money and agreed to the exact same revenue split which is 80-20, um, as Sony did, but with less content, and basically that, and they could not, legally could not market it thanks to Sony. Legally could not mention it in marketing thanks to Sony, I meant to say. Take that as you will. What the fuck?! So yeah. What, what the fuck is this?! That's some bullshit! Yeah. That's literally what they accused the, they accused Microsoft of attempting to do! No wonder they accused them! They were talking about their own bullshit for years! And, and they also said the current limit will reveal that Call of Duty cannot be on Game Pass until at least January 2025. Other Activision games can, but not the current CODs. As whether there were other games with similar types of marketing exclusivity, uh, they pointed to Hogwarts Legacy and the PlayStation Exclusive Quest. And they did once again brought up that Microsoft has a, has a legally binding contract to raise all put future for Call of Duty games on Nintendo consoles for at least 10 years. And it turns out we learned why uh, Activision has put on the Switch. No, it's not because of the K console reputation. No, it's not because it's less popular. It's less powerful, I meant. Not less popular. Uh, because they don't want to show up the ex insane amount of money for the fucking bloatware that is the co uh, Call of Duty games uh, that space. Is, that is true. Well, no. It's because they don't think it would be profitable. These motherfuckers. She also talked briefly about uh, they attempted to sign a similar 10 year deal with Valve to put it on Steam, keep it on Steam for 10 years, but Valve Valve trusts Microsoft enough, so they did so they didn't sign the deal, but they will still bring the Steam regardless. And also Valve doesn't want to be seen as the guy who blocks up uh, the guy who blocks up stuff through contracts. <laughs> 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 I'm not even gonna bother, it's just great of epic. Uh, fucking... Um... Ah! I list examples of PC It's shit. so awesome being able to actually do that. It's a shame that it's basically not buying this one... This, uh, this one type of room. I, I... I list examples of PC versions that are locked to Epic Games Store, but the only one I can think of the top of my head is Kingdom Hearts. And I was gonna say, like, Final Fantasy VII, but that game's a shame. Uh, what about the Sony exclusive, uh, PC games? Uh, those are on Steam. Uh -huh. Speaking of which, PS5 is one less true exclusive Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart is on Steam. 
for $60, not $70. Unlike PS5. Final Fantasy 16 also came out, which is planned to be a PC version as well. And Microsoft. I, act I, act I actively dislike that that game has decided to follow uh, the, w the Western trend of bloatware uh, sized fucking memory space uh, like storage yeah. thing. Play like it, it takes up way too much fucking space. It's crazy. The, 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 the main reason I'm able to say that about 16 and not 7 is easy. I actually like 7 and I don't care for Game of Thrones. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm being a hypocrite here, but that is my, ac my accurate uh, assessment here. And because if you don't know, um, one of the main desi de design philosophies for uh, 16 is that you basically had to be a Game of Thrones fan. Because Yoshi P was deliberately making that game as much like Game of Thrones as he could. Well, and part of D2 also revealed that yes, Sony did pay for it to make Final Fantasy 16 exclusive. And so that wasn't obvious. Yeah. And people were like, what? Well, Square Enix is basically a second party dev for Sony at this point. People said so People said the same thing about Activision, now look where we are. Yeah. Ah, day two. Bill Spencer himself came on the board. <laughs> they confirmed that Microsoft did think about buying uh, the most game company, Zynga. But who fucking wants Zynga? Which is the I'm pretty sure they made farm though. Yeah, they did. But they decided to, uh, I think. They decided to tackle Activision instead. They decided to go for a less crime riddled uh, company. Take two bots and go instead. Yeah, sounds about right. For like 12 billion. Minecraft does not have a native PS5 version because Sony did not want to send Microsoft PS5 dev tunes. Yeah, sounds about right. Although one of their most recent spin offs does have a native PS5 version. Activision tells employees that the FTC claims are factually weak and legally a stretch. You know. Because they are. You know. Uh, they'll... The Elder Scrolls 6 is still 5 plus years away, and they're not sure if it'll be multi-platform or exclusive. I think you repeated that one. I did. Starfield was potentially going to skip Xbox, but... Phil Spencer swore under oath he will do whatever it takes to keep Call of Duty on PlayStation. He rose his hand and did do whatever it takes. Swore under oath. Huh. Assuming Sony lets them ship the PlayStation, of course. Nope. And also, it was real that so Sony said they in the most petty move possible, they won't send PS6 dev kits to Activision if the acquisition goes through. Oh, well, fucking course. Because, you know. Other than that, the FTC tried to get Xbox to promise it for all Activision games, and the judge told them, shut up. Wait, what? The FTC was like, can you promise that for all Activision games? The judge told them, shut up, that's enough, let's move on. So the judge is, by this point, very much sick and tired of the FTC's bullshit. Yep. The console foreclosure theory has been thrown out the window. Obviously. Cloud gaming harm has been thrown out the window, thanks Obviously. To What's next? It's not like, a, by the way, it's not like the cloud gaming was a huge thing in the first place. There's still two days left of the trial. One on... Which of the <sighs> dates? One on Tuesday, and one on Wednesday, and... At least one more on Thursday, if necessary. Of course, because let's be honest here, Sony won't let this shit go. And they're gonna lose. How much do you bet that it'll be the catalyst for making Sony go back to Japan where they're allowed to be legally a monopoly? Probably that. Yeah, um... Other than that, other witnesses they called. Turns... Uh, they tried to... See, FTC tried calling the CEO of oh, the one that was in charge of Google Stadia to testify, and they were like, yeah, Stadia failed. Cloud gaming sucks. 
<laughs> well, at least they're honest. <laughs> blah blah blah. Call NVIDIA. All of Microsoft and Activision people are showing up in person. CEO of Activision is showing up in person. The CEO of Microsoft is showing up in person. And Sony refuses to play ball because they're petty bitches. The CEO of PlayStation will show up via a pre-recorded 45-minute video. Where he can't answer questions. Because answering questions would give away the fact that they're fucking lying out their asses yeah. at all times. So... So, if, if the judge denies the injunction, the deal can go through. And my Activision will officially be a part of the Xbox family. It's so weird rooting for a major corporation to take over another major corporation, but Activision is just that terrible. Oh, fuck. Other than that, uh, the, the lead licensing di director of Nintendo of America will also testify via video. Why do I have the feeling they'll be through a Zoom call rather than an actual video? Um, it won't be pre-recorded. Yeah, that's what I meant, like, yeah. the, the, their, their video will be a Zoom call where you can actually interact with them rather than a pre-recorded video where they'll just say their bullshit and not answer questions. To help testify about the extent of their Call of Duty 10-year contract. Uh, you actually see Aston going to show up, Nintendo responded by saying, don't fuck yourself. And yeah, then, that still then, sounds like Nintendo, alright? And the FTC was like, no, you don't fuck yourself, you have to show up anyway. Nintendo's, uh, Nintendo's probably like, Ugh, fine. Fucking Western <laughs> It's the American branch that's showing up, though. Yeah. Because that's where the negotiations lie. Yeah, that sounds about right. I honestly didn't, like, I'm honestly shocked at the idea that even the Western branch would show up. Nintendo is infamous for basically just not look, not thinking the world doesn't revolve around them at times. I mean, hey. This means we'll get to see Call of Duty in the Nintendo Direct. That'd be goofy, actually. That'd be funny, actually. We just had vampires in November. <laughs> yeah. Well, again, we'll talk about Directs later. Anyway, um... Uh, uh, um, other than that FTC bullshit... So, if if a preliminary injunction is somehow granted, the deal's dead. Unless they renegotiate. Because the they, they have a termination date of July 18th. And we're here to, we're off to the boss. They have a termination date of July 18th. But hey, and they're gonna close over the UK when they like they're not. Because I. Heh. <laughs> So yeah, this deal has gone and revealed how biased some people can be for Sony. Nice. <laughs> so that deal was... This whole trial was bad. So... That's all I can say about it.
I remember this boss's gimmick a lot faster. Yeah. Damn, this game sucks. Other than that, uh... Apart from the Microsoft Activision debacle... Uh... Uh, Capcom also announced the Ace Attorney Second Trilogy as being remastered for modern consoles in 2024. Oh, yeah, I don't think we ever talked about Summer Games Festival or anything like that. Yeah. Well, I did, but you kept falling asleep. Oh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, that was part of the Capcom thing, I think, right? Yeah, and that was the only thing I give a shit about. Because that means I don't have to fire up a DS or 3DS emulator for Ace Attorney. Wait, wait, six. only that? What about Ghost Trip? What the fuck is not, Ghost Trip? Not Ghost Trip. Not, not Ghost Trip. Uh, fucking... I think, actually, it might be... The, the other DS game that was ported over to main consoles recently. I don't, I don't know what that is, so... Well, it's a classic. Never heard of it, then. It's made by the same guy who made the Ace Attorney games! I don't know what you're talking about. Ghost Trick? Not, not Ghost Trick. Uh, it, has the, it has the red guy with the yellow hair. I don't know what you're talking about. It was in the same showcase! I only watched the Ace Attorney part. Fucking watch the rest of the thing, goddammit! No. <sighs> Ghost Trip Phantom Protector. Mm. This? Yeah, I never heard of it. It's a great game! It's literally, like, one of those beloved, like, hidden DS classics. I didn't have a lot of DS games. I grew up with the DS, trust me. It's an amazing game. I'm made by the same guys, who, same guy who made Ace Attorney. I prefer the Wii. Fuck the Wii. No. Well, if you insist. Anyways, the main, the main gimmick is that you're playing as a ghost who basically has to stop people from dying. Uh, while also trying to figure out what the hell is going on, because you have no memory of what the fuck's been going on. Anyways, to do that, you're you're able to possess things and rewind time. It's awesome. Yeah. Well, we got we got Ace Attorney four five six HD. So Ace Attorney seven never, by the way. I mean, there is a great Ace Attorney. Doesn't care. Uh, does. Well, I get full age 27. Uh, so probably not for another few years. That's never ever. Funnily enough, Greatest Attorney 1 and 2 are basically meant to be the same game. Mm. Like, quite literally, uh, they, they were meant to be one game, but they were too big. So they split them up. Well then, and now, other than, in terms of not game, 
um, Disney adjusted their mid movie release schedule. You've done showcasing well. that the Avatar sequels are still never going to come out, even though one possess your power. Is over Avatar yet. 3 got delayed from 2024 to 2025. What makes sense. Avatar Thank 4, God. Avatar 4 got delayed from 2026 to 2029. Good. Avatar so 5 got delayed from 2028 to 2031. Cast away. Good. Open your heart. Open that. Some animals. Some, no. <laughs> Some Disney Pixar 20th Century Days for her. Three new Star Wars movies will be after that is one for May 2026, one for December 2026, and one for December 2027. I'll say this, one good thing about Riku, I don't have to worry about the fucking deck building. <laughs> Which, you know, good for bosses like this. <laughs> and now, and also, the Mar all the Marvel movies got delayed, except for Deadpool 3, that got moved up earlier. Yeah. By th not I think I think the idea that it got it got moved up earlier is because since R Ron Reynolds isn't allowed to improvise, uh, they, they'll basically be forced to follow the script one to one, which makes the thing go a lot faster. Yeah. But hey, they say they can improvise in post production, assuming this breaks over by then. Because they use the technique in Deadpool too. Because he's wearing a mask, they can just dump over it easily. But yeah, if you're in the mode, you need delay, 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 delay. Cedar Wars is coming out in 2027 now. I'm gonna be 25. I don't know if that's it. Yes, I can! Fuck you! I was. Uh, I honestly was down to my last half. It was matter to happen. This was the. This is the worst game ever made. I can think of worse. This is the worst game ever made. I can think of significantly worse. I just want to be done with this game. I'm not gonna release any Chain of Memories episodes until this series is done. That's petty and stupid. Just release them. No. I channel my rules. I've seen people do many years I think this guy has way too much health for, for the amount of cards I have. Like, that is some serious final boss level health, if you notice. Yeah. Like, why the fuck do you have this many health bars? Like, if I can count that for just a moment. Jesus fucking Christ. Just get up. Just get up. 
I hate the fact that I don't actually, I'm not actually able to tell what the fuck those cards do. It's not like I memorize them. Yeah. That was the closest one yet, though. Yeah. What the fuck do you guys, do you assholes do again? Stuff. Okay, this one I use on that fucking 999 attack. Of attack cards stops enemies from breaking attack cards you have. That one is actually useful. That's damage. Retains one HP after critical hit. Sacrifice reload speed. Gradually restores HP. Okay. That one's useful. I'm starting to get to get an idea of what the fuck I'm meant to do with it. Okay. 
To... Oh, so I've got to level up. Fucking hell, this. I just found out how to mod stages for myself in Rivals of Ether. I think I'm gonna do a while with that next time I get a hold of my PC. <laughs> I need more health. Desperately. You're finished! You're finished! Oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, what did you expect of a sword that fucking huge? You were too no, much trouble. trouble. Oh, Alright, oh, Oh, well, I was like, you're, you're afraid you of the dark, slow. even though I, I fucking abuse the dark you so fucking the much in this game. <laughs> Forgive me, Zexy Zex. This was so my destination. Probably. You might have lived to see too if you didn't. Might have. Probably not. I think Axel would have killed you. I see, I see now. now. Clearly. Clearly. Huh? It's absolutely hilarious how Organization 13, like, Lexius! first shows up and gets, like, half its members wiped out in the first appearance. Yeah. Heart. Heart. No, no. It's not. It's not. Darkness, this foul, this foul could, could, only, could only, only be. Only be. That's, That's it. it. Remember, Remember me. me. Let me Let drift, me drift to, your to your heart. Ansem! Ansem! <laughs> you called you out, call out my name. You have, you been, have been thinking, thinking about, about me. me. You're afraid, You're afraid of, the of the darkness I command. command. Good. The more, the more, more you more think of me, me, the closer, the closer my return, my return draws. draws. And when, and I, when have I, I have a walk, I will take hold. Yours will, will be mine! Be mine. I mean, he was also stuck on the other side of the, the door, regardless of what do you expect. Right? Yeah. 
Help. I love how for this game they're so lazy about just show how Riku and Mickey are in Halloween Town. They, they put them over a fucking filter, if you notice. Yeah. <laughs> it's literally just a filter. I did notice. Also, the, the sheer amount of lengths to avoid saying Mickey in this game reminds me heavily of, um... On DuckTales 2017, they wouldn't allow them to use Mickey at all. Mm. Oh yeah, multiverses shut the sound today. Lexus. Oh well, who cares? Lexus. Lexus. I wonder who I wonder will be who next, will be next in, line. in line. It is really bad. Perhaps, perhaps it might be you. Be you. Oh, L Alarxy's already deployed this point in the game. I already took, I already my, took pounding my pounding from Sora. He thinks I'm done for good. For good. And Axel admits that he no, no, he faked his death at this point. For defying the organization targeting Sora. I hope it moves exactly as his heart commands it to. So, by so, this so point in the game, you, I thought we're you guys basically at uh, damn near the end game of yes, the yes. original story. We were going, we were going to, set to set him off against the traders. But with my Lucia gone, with my gone, there is, gone, no, there is more no more need. need. He is nothing, he is but, nothing a but a nuisance now. now. And he's and dangerous, he's dangerous as, well. as well. After all, After he took all, down he took Lexius. Yeah. You know, you that know, is that not is how I do things. Tell me, Tell me, did you did obtain, you obtain the, data the data on Riku's on home? home? What? What? One of the One senses, of the senses died. 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 A really, A really strong, strong one. one. Huh? Huh? The I think that was implying Malusha. Yeah, that's literally just saying. Uh, at this point in the story, Sora's already been Marluxia. He's already finished his game. Riku's basically lacking behind. <laughs> yes. Want to see him? Can you face him? What's that mean? So at this point, Sora's being put to sleep. And and some shadow. Shadow. Still nest within your heart. We officially moved on from like the main story of 358. I mean, not 358. Technically, we're during the story of 358. must oppose anyone who hosts the dark. In other words, it's you. If you don't believe the words I say, then you had then best, you had see, best the see the truth with your own, with your own eyes. eyes. This card. This, card. this, is, this our... is our... Yes. Yes. It is your, it is home. your home. I mean, shout out to Chain of Memories for being the only game that's willing to, like, allow Destiny Island to be a world outside of the fucking prologue. But, like, you know, and that one view at the end of one, I guess. But does it really fucking count when it's literally just a bunch of random RNG worlds that doesn't really amount to anything? No. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. We're almost there. Two or three episodes left of this bad boy. All we need is still, all we need to be just Destiny Islands, Twilight Town, and Castle Oblivion. Sooner the better. Well, I think we're done for with this game for today. Yeah, fuck this. So, yeah.